Okay, hello YouTube, and uh, welcome back, uh, fellow Texas Biters. So, you have seen Texas Bites, and you already saw the, the segment detailing the red imported fire ant. Guess what? I now have a personal bite to show you. Yay! I don't know how that's special, but whatever, it happened. So, I'm going to show you from personal experience, kind of what I've observed here. Something that's important to know about... Something that's important to know about fire ants is that they bite, and then they swing their tail around, and they actually sting also. So these are not stings, or bites per se, they're stings. And it's very possible that these three, at least, were caused by the same insect. And then this one, uh, possibly the same as well, could have just swung its tail around and stung me in multiple places, uh, possibly even just working its way up my, my ankle here. Okay, let's see if we can get better focus. There we go. Working its way up, stop to sting, bite, sting, 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 sting. All right, so there's that possibility. You'll notice, though, that the skin around the bite area, or around the sting area, is actually very supple right here. That's because I didn't pop these little pustules when they were when they were very small. They're still fairly small, but they started even smaller than this. They started almost looking like little whiteheads, and they've grown over the last couple of days. So whatever would have been itchy or irritated or swollen out here has been concentrated there. I don't intend to pop these. I'm going to let them just stay as they are, and that's the body's natural healing process. I'll show you on the flip side. Over here, so literally on the other side of my ankle, I was bit just in this one spot as well. But if you look kind of at my foot, my ankle, uh, I'm going to wiggle my toes. You'll notice there's you can't see the connective tissue or the metatarsals there or anything. That's because it's all swollen, and it's kind of, you can see, kind of reddish and irritated there. This is all very itchy around here and around there. This pustule, for whatever reason, I suspect that I was bit near some sort of circulatory uh, segment, a vein, or, or something that kind of spread that, that venom where that, where that sting took place, spread that venom out across my ankle. So right there, you see I've got that sort of like hyper color action going on. It turns kind of bright white and then, and then fills back in red. That's all filled with some sort of uh, irritant, right? So I'm, I'm very irritated and very inflamed right there. Um, and that pustule is not growing. So maybe, in my, in my mind, I think what would have normally gone into that pustule, if it were kind of moving as nature had intended, what would have gone into the pustule is all over here instead. So bite placement, I think... I'm out on a limb here, <laughs> literally. Bite placement can have a lot to do with the speed of recovery and uh, and your level of comfort with recovery. I mean, it's also very possible that I'm somewhat allergic. Uh, granted, I didn't have a difficulty breathing, and uh, you know, I didn't go into shock or anything. I'm just noticing this is a little bit swollen, so maybe there's a little bit of an allergic reaction there too. But anyway, hope that's helpful. If you've been bit by a uh, red imported fire ant. Um, or if you've got a similar type of sting. And um, yeah, if you haven't already seen Texas Bites, the documentary on all of the, uh, all the venomous creatures in, all, in central Texas and the surrounding areas, uh, by all means, it's free on YouTube. Take a look. You can even watch it in 3D. Anyway, hope this has been helpful. Thanks.